Hi, this is Jenny. Welcome to the Sanctuary on Esoteric Online, where I will be discussing all forms of holistic healing, complementary therapies, and many other things. These are many other things. These are many other I'm here at the Cock of Budworth talking to Dee and Pat. Dee, um, if I can start with you, this is the third event like this you've organised, isn't it? Yes, we're trying to organise them to coincide with the festivals of the year to just basically give the local pagans somewhere to meet and, you know, join together rather than celebrate in solitary, which a lot of people tend to do. And at the moment, it seems like the attendance is getting bigger and bigger for each one. Have you publicised this one more than the previous two? No, I don't think so. I think it's more word of mouth that's going round and, you know, they're all hearing how good they are. And um, this event has been sort of, I suppose, under the umbrella of the pagan fed Midwest and Wales and Pat is involved in that. Pat, what part have you had in running today? Well, I've helped with the advertising. I'm the regional coordinator for this particular district. In fact, my district covers all of... All of Staffordshire, Shropshire, South Cheshire. So this is very much local to me and, and it's really nice to have somebody like Dee who can organise things in my area. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of organising, you've got quite a few stallholders hold, here today. How did you go about finding those? Um, we've done the regional, well, the district conferences and things, haven't we? Yeah. So over the years, I get a stallholders database built up and things and... They're good enough to come and support us at the more regional events now, which is really nice. We're getting quite a nice group together, aren't we? We certainly are. And um, who exactly have you got here today with their stalls? Um, we have Simmering Cauldron. We have Oak Lord. You've got a wood carver as well. Yes, Roger Francis, um, which obviously beautiful wood carvings. Um, we've got Marianne all the way from Fife with her beautiful glassware and things. <laughs> and then you've also got some musical entertainment later on, I believe. Yes, we've um, got music this evening with Rome. Um, they're making their debut for us, so hopefully that will round the evening off nicely and everybody will go home all merry and happy. And, mm -hmm. and then, Pat, I believe your role today really is a bouncer on the door. Well, if, if needed, yes, I can be really nasty to people. <laughs> But generally speaking, everybody's welcome and you've had good attendance today. We have, yes. It's been really pleasant to see so many people coming and, and obviously enjoying themselves. Well, this is the third one that Esoteric Radio has had the, the pleasure to cover and um, we've enjoyed every single one and wish you all the best of luck for the future events that you're planning. Well, hopefully they're just going to get bigger and better. I believe we've got some people here today from the Circle of Pagans, which is the Liverpool area. So, you know, the surrounding areas are slowly coming together and we're all uniting. Quite right. Well, thanks again for a lovely day and um, look forward to the next one. one of the storeholders at the Astara Fest here today. Uh, Marianne, I believe you've come all the way down from Fife especially to attend this event. Yes, that's right, very early this morning as well. And I hope you're staying overnight. I hope you've not tried to do all this in one day. Well, I thought I might maybe pop into Manchester on the way back up and stay up. Yeah. Now, you're um, one of the stall holders today, um, and I've been looking at your stall. You've got a whole range of, I suppose you call it pagan glassware. Yes, that's right, um, different colours and different items, obviously, as well. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the items that you've got on your stall? I've seen you've got some goblets. Yes, I've got um, some glass goblets, um, different sizes, clear, uh, red and black, um, with pentagrams on them or uh, on the triple moon. Or, I mean, obviously, if somebody particularly wanted something, I could do that for them quite easily, but I just stuck to very basic designs. 
um, for the, for the goblets. I also do bowls and plates as well. Um, and all the engraving, I'm amazed that you told me before that you do freehand because it looks so intricate, it looks so precise. Yeah, you've not to be drinking, I tell you, when you've been doing that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's freehand, so it's not always perfect, but it means also that you know, obviously the glass is mass produced, that each item is obviously unique because it's, it's done by hand. And how long have you been doing engraving? And did you go on a course to learn how, or are you self-taught? Um, I'm self-taught. I've always done artistic things, and I just like thought I'd try that for, for a change as well. But I've been doing the glassware for about two, three years. And although it's only one of your sidelines, I suppose, um, have, have you had a successful time using this as a business? Um, I've had limited success because I've not really put myself forward. Um, I do sell uh, my glassware through a shop up um, in Aberdour um, called Mystic Moments. Um, so I sell that, that through there. But other than that, I've not really ventured other than obviously this year I'm coming down to this and hopefully do other events as well. Mm. It's good having people um, bring stuff down from a long way afield because we get used to seeing the same sort of uh, products at these at these events. And I have to say that the things that you make, I haven't seen in the shops before, and they really are quite individual. Well, that, that, I mean, that's part of it. As you know, people say to me, you know, oh, I wish I had something, whatever. And I think, well, that probably will give that a shot and see whether or not, you know, enough people want it, you know, obviously. But like I said, I can't do individual things anyway. Um, so that's all as well. And um, what do you think of the day so far? Have you enjoyed yourself? I um, I'm surprised I'm still awake, but yes. <laughs> what time did you have to leave the house this morning? I left about five this morning, so... Ouch. So have you been listening to some of the talks today as well? I have been, and I've also been chatting to the other stallholders as well and that, so it's good just because I've not been down this way before. I'm meeting new people and hopefully making contacts and friends. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been really good to talk to you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and I hope it's successful for you. And um, I'd like to see your products more widely available. And if you ever do decide to sell online, then uh, we'll be happy to advertise your wares. All right, thanks. Well, I'll bear that in mind and send you an email for that then. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. Thank you now, bye.